What up, YouTube? It's Kurt here, and I'm going to show you how to pull up Easy Drummer and get it to eight tracks, at least eight different tracks on your Reaper. So you're going to want to open that up, um, insert virtual instruments on new track, um, pull up your Easy Drummer, and make sure you load your project. Yeah, so we're going to go over to project here, load it. I'm just going to load a random project that I did. Uh, try to have your parts put together beforehand. That would make everything easier. And hopefully this whole video makes your mixing process a lot easier. It's a lot better than just having one drum track. Gives you a lot more control. So pulling up this... Yeah, I went to the wrong file there. So... Yeah, grungy, grungy type of tune that I pulled up. Alright, so this is going to pull up. I'm going to make sure all my tracks, all my parts are merged. So shift, click, um, shift, right click, yeah, merge, all that. Um, then go to your mixer. Make sure it's turned down. That's what I did there. I t turn it down. Uh, go to your mixer and make sure everything's on multi-channel. And I like to turn down the compression. That's just something I like to do. But you don't have to do that if you don't, if you like the compression the way it is. All right, so you're going to want to drag that, then click on the second track, then shift click on the, yeah, down to the last one. Then you're going to go click to render. Yeah, render, freeze tracks to stereos and mute the originals. So this will give you all the song parts um, from the drums in different, yeah, in different microphones and different tracks. Um, so this will be really useful for, yeah. For your overall mixing process and this has been yeah it took me forever to figure out how to do this but finally someone showed me and they didn't show me in a youtube video um they showed it to me and yeah some random guy showed it to me with like a random like google drive file but uh i thought i would make this video because this is really helpful to people if they're making these types of yeah making tracks on their own and they need this kind of software being to see here yeah we have you can see all the tracks doing their thing. Um, well, actually, a lot of them are dead because they're not being utilized. But, so you can go ahead and delete the ones that say muted after you've rendered those. Um, and that should work out. There might be a slightly faster way to do this, but this is the way I learned how to do it. Um, so hopefully this helps you guys out. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Hope this guy helps you guys, helps all you indie artists out there. Um, if you have any questions, again, that whole thing. But if you like this video, subscribe and share it to all your indie friends. So, appreciate it.